my blog this week is about um, the reason that I hear so often, I hate marketing from so many of the coaches I work with at the Coactive Training Institute and certification program, or maybe they're when I'm in front of a room and we're talking about the business side during the Q&A and with my own clients for sure. Here's what came to me today about what, what when I have that thought, because I do, <laughs> I, I have the thought, oh, marketing can be so hard. And I got this email from uh, a former uh, Coactive Training Institute colleague of mine, Rick Tamlin, and he's talked about what makes things hard? What are we really saying when we say something is hard? So when I took that, his question and put it to when I think marketing is hard, one of the number one things that makes it hard for me is that sometimes I fail. And I don't like that. <laughs> it feels bad. It especially feels bad when I put a lot of work into something. I feel like I know what I'm doing right. And I teach other people about marketing. And yet some of my marketing efforts fail. And some of them fail really badly. <laughs> they just go, nothing happened in there. So what, what I want to like impart to you about that, because that might be happening for you. Maybe take a look. When you think about something, anything, but it could be around the marketing of your coaching business and you think, oh, it's hard or I don't like it. It might be because failure is a essential part of marketing. It is not an exact science. So one of my favorite games is Yahtzee. And I love Yahtzee because it combines skill and chance. There's a little bit of skill in Yahtzee kind of knowing how to fill the card in and which things to go for first and which things to not go for. And there's a little bit of skill. So there's definitely skill. If you don't use that skill, you're much more likely to lose. <laughs> if you do use all the skill, there's still chance. There's the chance, well, there's literally chance on a Yahtzee card, if you know Yahtzee, but the rest is just gambling, you know, how the dice are going to fall. Marketing has a lot of that in it. It's not in, there's the art and the science, you use the strategy. And there are times like on the other side of that failure for me, I have had marketing strategies that are, they just go crazy. Like they work better than I ever imagined they were gonna work. Something like the stars align for probably for a lot of reasons because I'm in my, I'm using my best talents and I'm doing something that's fun for me. Something that brings me joy. I think that's one of the real keys because there are times I do marketing things because somebody's told me this is the right way to do it. And I have skills to do that. And I have enough intelligence to figure it out, but it doesn't bring me joy. I don't have that like, oh man, this is so cool. So I want to leave you with that today to think about when you're thinking of your coaching business or something else, and you think this is hard, or I hate this. Take a moment and like peek underneath and take a look to see if maybe it's because you're afraid of failure because you failed in the past and you want to hit a reset button on that, right? Because maybe you learned from that failure. Hopefully you did. Take a look at it. If that's true and say, what did I learn? And also look at this joy factor. Well, what's the joyful thing? So maybe it's the, um, I hate it or it's hard is because you're not actually connecting to what's right and good for you. Go out and do that. Let me know how it goes.